People have to stop defending Shia LaBeouf. I'm seeing so many people on social media supporting Shia LaBeouf and giving him this undeserved redemption arc when he's a truly disgusting and vile human being. On the one hand, you have the enlightened punisher, John Bernthal, inviting him onto his podcast to share his side of the story. Oh, are you so sad about hitting rock bottom, Shia? Tell me how it made you feel when the world found out that you're a violently abusive piece of shit who, by the way, drove around LA shooting stray dogs. And on the other hand, you've got Harry Styles and Florence Pugh stands acting like he's a hero because he savagely exposed Olivia Wilde. Just because you don't like Olivia Wilde because you have negative feelings towards her because of Florence Pugh and Harry Styles, it doesn't mean you should welcome an abusive dog killer with open arms. And I'm not saying that if this is you, you suck. You probably just don't know the terrible history of Shia LaBeouf. But after this video, I can't imagine anybody watching this and still supporting him. I'm gonna get into some footage and testimony in a second, but I wanna make it very clear that everything I'm talking about isn't speculation. It's just, like, this is all stuff that happened. I'm gonna be referring to Shia as an abusive dog killer throughout this video, but I wanna make it clear up front that his abuse to FKA Twigs is substantially more important and vile, and I'm not equating the two at all. But unfortunately, the abuse that he put her through is not uncommon in Hollywood, but driving around shooting dogs for fun is. So I just want to emphasize how awful and vile he is. In an interview with Elle magazine, FKA Twigs, former partner of Shia, the abusive dog killer, talked about her experience with him. It's a miracle I came out alive, she said. If you put a frog in cool water and heat it up slowly, that frog is going to boil to death. That was my experience with Shia LaBeouf. She filed a lawsuit against him on December of 2020, describing multiple abusive events. One night, she was awoken by him on top of her, pinning her arms down and strangling her. He said, if you don't stop, you're going to lose me. Then the next morning, he threw her to the ground publicly outside of their hotel, and then once in the car, began driving insanely fast, swerving in and out of traffic, to the point that she noted thinking to herself, I wonder what would happen to my body if we smashed into a wall at 80 miles per hour. She even considered jumping out of the car onto the highway because of how imminent her death felt. But they survived, and Shia LaBeouf ended up pulling over to a gas station where she jumped out of the vehicle to try and escape. He ran over to her, grabbed her, and slammed her into the car, screaming in her face while choking her. The interviewer asked her how she thinks she survived her relationship with Shia, to which FKA Twigs responded, I honestly wish I could say that I found some strength and I saw this light. I wish I could say, it's a testimony to my strong character, or it's the way my mother raised me. It's none of that. It's pure luck that I'm not in that situation anymore. Weeks after her filing this lawsuit, Olivia Wilde came out in support of her and she said, Love, respect, and support to FKA Twigs. It then came out that Olivia had fired Shia LaBeouf from her next movie, Don't Worry Darling, and had replaced him with Harry Styles, but more on that in a minute. Other things that she talked about in her interview with Elle are how Shia LaBeouf would force her to sleep naked, yell at her and blame her for not being intimate with him a certain number of times a day, and that he would wildly accuse her of not loving him and then force her to do things to prove that she did. And keep in mind all of this with the context that he had a gun by the side of his bed and would frequently remind her that he did. The threat of violence was constant and her fearing for her life was ever present. She said she was scared enough of being shot and killed by him that she sent a picture of his gun to her manager, thinking that it would be important to leave clues for the authorities and now comes the second part of Shia, the abusive dog killer's nickname. She said he would shamelessly brag to her about driving around LA shooting random stray dogs in order to get into character for his next film. A film, by the way, that is ironically dog shit. God doesn't exist. I'm supposed to terrorize the herd. She was obviously disturbed by this admission and pressed him, asking why he would do something so fucking disgusting. To which he replied, Because I take my art seriously. You're not supporting me in my art. This is what I do. It's different from singing. I don't just get up on a stage and do a few moves. I'm in the character. Oh my god. To the people who fetishize method acting, I think it's important to remember what Robert Pattinson has to say. I always say about people who do method acting, you only ever see people doing the method when they're playing an asshole. <laughs> You never see someone just being lovely to everyone, going, like, I'm really deep in character. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> and I'm just saying that if you disagree with Robert Pattinson, you're crazy, because he's a god. All of the things that I just went over are only a part of what FKA Twigs experienced in this relationship. His behavior stretched across multiple partners and has been public knowledge for a long ass time. Which is why I find his forced redemption arc disgusting. So let's get into the immensely viral John Bernthal interview. His views are normally around 200,000, but the one with Shia blasted past two and a half million insanely fast. But surely John was hard on him and pressed him on all the abuse and dog killings. 
right? Yeah. What, can, what, 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 what can this achieve? Who can this touch? Victim, perpetrator, someone lost, someone who's trying to be found. Pain is an adhesive, bro. If you've been yeah. through it, yeah. you can connect to people, period, end yeah. of story. Yeah. The first thing I just need to ask you, man, yeah. I need to ask you about your baby, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, yeah. tell me about your baby. I mean, she's a, she is the most dynamic spark of life and most magical. Um, it's a game changer, dog, you know? Hey, John, for somebody who's so outspoken about animal rights, maybe you should care that this dude drove around LA shooting dogs for fun. Or maybe as a human, you should care what he put FKA twigs through. That entire interview is laced with Bernthal acting like he's doing some bold and impactful interview, but it's just laced with pseudo intellectual words that he learned in therapy and that he's using to support and provide a welcoming environment to an abusive dog killer. This is not some Louis Thoreau radical listening type shit. His tone and posture throughout this entire interview is one of support and empathy. Empathy for an abusive dog killer. At this point, I know I'm sounding a little bit like a douchebag with like moral high ground authority and everything, but you know, I'm on the high ground, morally. And now the Olivia Wilde stuff. So Shia LaBeouf has shared videos that Olivia Wilde sent him, begging him to stay in the film, Don't Worry Darling. Apparently she didn't fire him and he left of his own volition. Shia, Shia, I just went riding my horse very sweaty, but I wanted to reach out because I feel like I'm not ready to give up on this yet. And I too am heartbroken and I want to figure this out. And you know, I think this might be a bit of a wake up call for Miss Flo. And I want to know if you're open to giving this a shot with me, with us, if she really commits, if she really puts her, her mind and heart into it at this point, and if you guys can make peace, and I respect your point of view, I respect hers, but if you guys can do it, what do you think? Is there hope? Is there hope? Will you let me know? Okay, bye. Olivia had also made statements prior to these leaks that she fired Shia because Florence felt unsafe working with him. But then Shia leaked screenshots between himself and Florence where she was prepared to work with him and didn't seem worried at all. So people who love Florence Pugh and Harry Styles are using these pieces of information to shit on Olivia Wilde, while at the same time praising Shia for leaking them. And honestly, I don't care that Olivia Wilde lied and I don't think anybody else should really care either. The only real problem here is that she wanted to work with Shia LaBeouf. Okay, and to be fair, it's less of a problem because the timeline of these screenshots and videos is a little bit fuzzy and probably took place before the FKA Twigs interview and probably before she even publicly filed her lawsuit against him. But Shia being a piece of shit has been widespread public knowledge since before 2017, so I don't understand why it's cool that they wanted to work with him. And to be fair, Florence was just being a professional. She was cast in this thing. She's not in charge of anything. And she's just trying to do her job, which I, I get I get that. But it's like, you don't need to be praising her and praising Shia for leaking this and proving that Olivia Wilde's a liar. Like, it's not a good look to be on the side of Shia. And I'm not saying Florence Pugh is, but the people who are supporting Shia for leaking all this are taking his side, and that's insane. Olivia Wilde should not have cast him in the first place, but regardless of anything, nobody should be giving him support for anything ever at all. Okay, I think I made my point. I'm gonna make more silly videos next time. I just had to get this off my chest and it was very serious. So next time, I'll be more silly. I love you. you know about family? You're a fucking cock. Your wife's getting railed while your nuts are tucked. You can fuck her, Brad. You're a big, strong bull. I'll imagine that you're Ethan while she's eating your load. Bitch, you look like Weinstein over as are you when you're drunk? Too much wine, is that why you went on?